Wouldn't it be more interesting if we could give a lecture with a background like this? Hi, my name is Peter O'Connor. I'm from the QUT Business School. And today I'm going to be talking about my pitch, which is about conducting more interesting video lectures. For this pitch, I have a number of colleagues, Anya Vivora, who's also from the QUT Business School, Kate Davis, and Gareth Simpson. Short video lectures are being widely used in teaching, and this is for a range of reasons, whether it be blended learning, flipped classroom. One thing we know for sure, short lecture videos are here to stay. The problem with short lecture videos is at the moment they're quite unengaging. Most lectures are presented in the format of, of voiceover screen captures. Now the problem with these short lecture videos is that they miss an essential ingredient required for an engaging presentation. Body language. When you only hear someone's voice, we're left with 40% of the communication that we had when we included body language. Now the question I have then is, why do we take ourselves out of a lecture video? Last year we experimented with some different video formats and we came up with this, the newsreader style video format, what we now call Lecture Videos 2.0. It basically consisted of me sitting in my office talking through a set of slides. We found that this format was much more effective than the voiceover slides. These videos received twice as many views as earlier videos and informal feedback was very positive. We also observed better retention of material. Students performed better in both formative and summative quizzes once we introduced these videos. So why lecture video 3.0? Well, we want to make even more engaging videos. We want to make videos that students actually want to watch. We feel that this is very important because in some very large subjects, such as faculty cores, videos are watched by more than 2,000 students every year. So let's make videos worth watching. We also argue that we should make better use of the video medium. We can do so much with videos. Why do we limit ourselves to voiceover slides with screen captures? With video, we can shoot in any location. Uh, for example, one advantage of documentary style lectures is that I can interview people in the public as to what they think of, of various concepts. What are your thoughts? Yeah, I, I would totally agree. I guess such a natural surrounding can, can help students to learn. If I had to watch a video lecture and I would uh, only see the lecturer in front of his desk, I would pretty much be bored for after a couple of minutes, I guess. And the great thing about lecture videos is that they can be taken anytime and anywhere. For example, we could take it in a boardroom. Now, ideally, it will match the place where we give the lecture to the content that's being covered. For example, if I was giving a lecture on networking, I'd conduct the lecture at a place where networking actually happens. For example, at a conference. Lectures don't have to be didactic or a one-way conversation. Lectures can involve other lecturers. For example, in this short clip I have Anya talking about some of the advantages of this technique. This type of video lecture is time effective and also cost effective. We can reuse all those lectures for another uh, two or three years. So what exactly do we need to make these types of videos? Well, not much. What we've used in this video is a microphone, which you can easily get for about $80 uh, from a Brisbane store. I also used an app that steadies the camera so it has much more of a professional feel to it. Otherwise, if you have some basic producing skills, that's all you really need to do to make a video lecture like this.